Sugar, how you get so fly? What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look. I'm obsessed. I love how it turned out. Like warm, neutral brown tones are everything to me. Like I love them. And the fact that I was able to incorporate that with a glitter is just like... But yeah guys, I'm so obsessed with how this look turned out. I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you think of it as well. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. We are up close and personal because I am going to start off with the eyes today. I am going to be working with glitter, so... It's a lot easier to clean it up if you just put it on before you put your face makeup on. So to start things off, I'm going to firstly prime the lid with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And as always, the brush that I'm using is the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. It looks so funny seeing my top lid all nice and like evened out and then underneath my eyes it's like dark as hell. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set that primer in place. I'm just using the Australis Ready Set Go finishing powder. So for today's look, of course, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. So to start things off, I'm going to firstly take this shade right here called Creamsicle and I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush to run that back and forth through my crease. I seriously love this shade. I'd have to say that it could quite possibly be my favorite shade in the palette. I just love it for the crease. I feel like it is an amazing shade and it just goes with my skin tone really nicely. Next up, I'm gonna be going into the crease again with this shade right here. This is Mocha and I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm going in with this shade to my crease just to add a little more definition to the area and darken it up a little more. So as you guys can see, I'm just taking it through my crease, running it back and forth all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye. Next up, I'm going to take this shade right here called Chip, and I'm just using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. What I'm going to do with that shade is pretty much just apply it all over my lid and blend it up into those crease shades. As you guys can see, this shadow is a really nice, warm, rich brown that almost has a bit of like a purplish undertone to it, so I think it will look great underneath the glitter that I will be applying on top. Again, I'm just going back in with the brushes that I used for those crease shades, and I'm just going to blend through the crease. Alrighty guys, now it's time for the fun part, which is of course applying the glitter. So this is the glitter that I'll be using today. This is from Lychee Cosmetics and as you can see, it is the most beautiful, warm, brown glitter. I, I'm, obs I'm obsessed. I can't even talk properly, but I'm obsessed. I'm not 100% sure on the name, so I will leave it down below in the description box. But to adhere it to my lid, I'm just using this liquid sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics. The brush that I'm using is the Sigma F70 Concealer Brush and essentially what I'm doing is dipping the end of that brush into the liquid base, then into the glitter and then patting it onto my lid in sections. I also just want to say be really careful when you're putting any type of glitter on your eyes, even though this is cosmetic grade glitter. You just still want to be careful. I accidentally got some of the liquid base in my eye and it did sting but it's okay. So yeah, just be really, really careful when you're doing this. All right, so the glitter is on and popping and it's pretty much dried onto my lid now. It won't move if you like start blending at it with a brush just because it, it, the base, the, the, I can't talk. The base really does stick it onto the lid, um, but I'm just kind of like slightly blending at the edges just to make sure that uh, my crease doesn't get lost in the glitter. People that glitter fall out though. This is why we do the eyes first. So next up, if I can find it, I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Just gonna give myself a teeny wing so that there's a little bit of definition going on. And guys, if you're using glitter on your lid, I would totally recommend using a liquid liner as opposed to a gel, just because liquid liner goes on top of glitter so much easier than gel. I feel like gels can sometimes tug at the lid. So yeah, liquid liner is the way to go. Next up, I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and then I'm going in with mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. They're limited edition packaging, which I love. So I'm just gonna give my top lashes a generous coat of mascara. 
So for lashes today, I'm going to be using these babies from Coco Lashes in the Style Diva. And to apply them, I'm using the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive in Black. If you are doing a darker makeup look, definitely consider using a black eyelash adhesive because it will definitely help to blend the lashes into your eyes a lot better. I'm going to finish off the eyes a little later on, but for now I'm going to get started on the face. So first things first, I've got to take a baby wipe and pretty much wipe whatever excess glitter has dropped onto my face, which there was a fair bit. So yeah, definitely wipe your face down. Alrighty, so now that the face is looking all fresh and clean, I'm going to go in with primer. Today I'll be using this baby right here, the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base Pure Light Primer. I actually recently like rediscovered this primer and I've been obsessed with it. Definitely good if you just want an all over face glow. So I'm just using the Real Technique Stickling Brush to blend that all into my face. My face is quite literally beaming after applying that primer. So next up, I'm going to go in with foundation. Today, I'll be using one of my faves. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. My one is in the shade Golden Beige, and I... This is hands down my favorite foundation at the moment. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my face. Just pretty much dot it all over with the spatula. And then I'm going to blend it in with my dampened beauty blender. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the usual. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. But since it is in a peachy tone, I would call it a peach corrector. So I'm just gonna take one swipe to each eye and then go ahead and blend that in with the Models Prefer airbrush concealer brush. Next up I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. My one is in the shade Light Medium and essentially I'm going to conceal and somewhat highlight with this. So as you can see I'm just putting some dots underneath my eyes, a little down the bridge of my nose and above my brows and a teensy bit on my chin and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with the Dampened Beauty Blender. To set that concealer in place I'm using none other than the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder and the brush that I'm using is the Sigma F30 highlighter brush. I also still have to set the rest of my face, so I'm just using the Benefit Hello Flawless Press Powder. I've been using this like crazy lately. I feel like it's the only powder that I want to use, but it really is a great product. So as you guys can see, I'm just applying that to all the areas of my face that I have not yet set in place, and I'm using a Real Techniques powder brush. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm firstly going to take the shade Creamsicle, and I'm just using an e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. What I'm going to do with this shade is run that along my bottom lash line and smoke it out. And then next up, I'm going to be taking the shade Chip. I'm just using a Zoeva 230 Luxe pencil brush and I'm going to go ahead and further define my lash line with this shade. As you can see, I'm running it along the same area as I did with that creamsicle shade, but I am keeping it much closer to the lashes. Since I want to keep the eyes really dark, I'm going to go ahead and line with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencil. This one is in Perversion, which is essentially their black liner. I love this liner. It's so creamy, easy to apply, and like the name suggests, it just glides. On. I'm also just going to give my bottom lashes a generous coating of mascara just to make them pop a little more. Like always, I almost forgot to do this. I'm going to quickly take some of that beam shade and hit my inner corner and brow bone with it because seriously, I'm obsessed with this shade. It is the perfect inner corner highlight. I'm going to go ahead and start contouring my face now. So I have here the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I'm just going to take this shade right here and I'm using the Sigma F05 Small Contour Brush. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my jawline, my cheekbones, a little a bit around my hairline. And then I'm also going to go ahead and contour my nose using my fave brush, which is the Look Good Feel Better Eyeshading Brush. For bronzer, I'm just going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm using a Sigma F40 Large Angles Contour Brush. I really do love this bronzer. I jumped on the bandwagon really late, but I'm obsessed. So as you can see, I'm kind of just running that over my cheeks and around my hairline, just everywhere that I like to be nice and bronzy. For blush today, I'm just keeping it really simple. So I have here the Wet n Wild Blush. This is their color icon blush in the shade Rosé Champagne. And again, I'm using another Sigma F40 Large Angles Contour Brush to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and then slightly bring it back towards my hairline. Now to highlight, I'm using another Wet n Wild product. Guys, I can't get enough of this. This is the Mega Glow Highlighter in Precious Petals. I love it, super inexpensive yet really good quality, like so amazing for a drugstore highlighter. So I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush to apply that to my cheekbones, a little on my nose, just everywhere where I like to glow, which is 
pretty much all over my face. I just had to apply some more lip balm because my lips are getting a little bit dry, but for lip color today, you guys know I'm keeping it nude. So first things first, I'm using this little lip liner from Inglot. This is their lip liner in number 854. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with it. And then for the actual lip color, I have another Inglot product. This is their lipstick in number 403. That is a pretty nude lip color, but I actually really like it. But I will be going on top with a gloss. This is the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in Undressed. I've been obsessed with this gloss lately. I feel like it's the perfect, super pigmented, opaque nude gloss. So that's it, guys. This is the final look. I really hope you like it. I'm obsessed, obsessed. I feel like this would be the perfect, like, summer night out kind of makeup look or even just like if you want to wear it to the grocery store that would be totally fine but yeah i'm obsessed with how it turned out let me know what you think of it in the comments down below and also if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're still here at the end and you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you're still watching you, you know what to do join the crew and press the little red subscribe button as always i will have everything listed down below in the description box as well as all of my social media account links so if you guys want to catch up with me on twitter instagram snapchat or facebook all that good stuff is down below i hope you guys are having a fabulous week and i will catch you all in my next video stay glowy